In today's lecture, I'm going to cover the HAM Resource Categories module in ServiceNow, explain how it works, and how to opt in and out of different resource categories in the system. By the end of this lecture, you'll understand what HAM Resource Categories are and how to opt in and out of them. Before we go into the system, I want to explain what HAM Resource Categories are. HAM Resource Categories are used for opting in to specific hardware models and assets into the Hardware Asset Management Professional Licensable application from ServiceNow. You can opt into specific resource categories and choose to not opt in to others. HAM resource categories are used to dictate what hardware models will be normalized by the normalization job that is run. For example, if you are opted into the servers resource category and not the end user computers category, then your hardware models that are using any of the server model categories would get normalized, and all of your hardware models that are using the computer model category would not get normalized. This module is also used for calculating your licensing costs for HAM Pro. Above, you can see all of the different resource categories for HAM in ServiceNow, and all of their related model categories. Now that we've covered what HAM resource categories are, Let's go into the system and opt into them. The first thing you'll want to do is open up ServiceNow and type in HAM Resource Categories in the Application Navigator. And click on the HAM Resource Categories module located underneath the Hardware Model Normalization application. You'll now be navigated to this HAM Resource Categories list view where you can see all four HAM Resource Categories. To opt into each of these resource categories, Simply open up each record and click on the Opt In button. Now, after going through all of the HAM resource categories, you're now fully opted into hardware model normalization for all eligible hardware models. Now, when the hardware model normalization job runs, all hardware models that include any of these model categories will be normalized against the hardware asset management content service. Please note, if you're upgrading to the Tokyo release of ServiceNow or a newer release, then you'll automatically be opted into these resource categories by default. The only exception to this is the mobile device resource category. You'll always have to manually opt into that one. And that is all for this lecture on HAM resource categories in ServiceNow. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you'd like to learn more about hardware asset management, check out our ServiceNow hardware asset management course on Udemy, where you can learn everything there is to know about hardware asset management in ServiceNow.